With hospitals filling up once again with patients suffering from COVID-19, Monroe County has once again declared a state of emergency. No universal mandate attached to this one, but there are some changes and a warning. Christian Garzone joining us now live outside a local emergency department with more on all of this. Christian. Well, Adam, we spoke to an ER patient tonight who says where he is, staff are overwhelmed with patients and just can't keep up. It's one reason why Adam Bello declared that state of emergency today. Medical leaders also making a plea with the public to get vaccinated and help end this pandemic. Tonight, John DeCamilla, a patient at Rochester General Hospital, said the emergency department is overflowing. They're stacking people like wood. I mean, I'm in, I'm in a, basically a closet. He says one solution might be to call in the troops. I, I don't like bringing the military in, but they have nurses. They have trained professionals. This is just one example of why Executive Adam Bello declared a state of emergency to bring hospitalizations down. We need to flatten the curve of hospitalizations now before the situation reverts to what we experienced last year. Bello says under phase one of the state of emergency, a face mask will be required in county facilities. And there's a work from home policy for county employees able to do so. The county is also encouraging local government, public and private sectors to do the same. And they also want to expand rapid testing in the area. The public health commissioner says we need to get back to COVID basics. Social distancing, masking, limiting our gatherings and being cautious when traveling. Those things still matter. Dr. Michael Apostolakis with URMC today urging the unvaccinated to get the shot. 20% of the population that is unvaccinated accounts for 60% of all COVID hospitalizations and 80% of those who are critically ill in the ICU. Dr. Robert Mayo with Rochester Regional says elective surgeries might have to be postponed if this keeps up, something he doesn't want to see. Maintaining full access to medical care is vital for the health of this community. Apostolaka says, unfortunately, this spike in hospitalizations across the region doesn't have an end in sight right now. But a significant minority of people are refusing vaccination, and our community is paying the price. Bello says the state of emergency will stay in place until hospital numbers are stabilized. We do not need to live in a permanent pandemic. Now, Bello says if we don't start improving locally with the numbers, phase two of the state of emergency will be declared, which will look at vaccinations and testing requirements in the area. Live in Rochester, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam, back to you. Christian, thank you. By the way, the state of emergency here in Monroe County, it takes effect in less than an hour right at 12.01.